Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully installed JD Stream, right? Here we successfully installed it. Right now, if you refresh this page, now you can see it's now created some of the error as an unknown database Laravel. I didn't create any database. Now we have to do, we have to create one of the database. Now that is our uh, PHP my admin into the PHP my admin. I want to create on the new database table as a JD auth. Okay, so this type of one of the database I simply created and now I want to do I want to make it as a general a CI now click as a create our database is created successfully. Now we have to add that database right we have to use this database I simply copy our database name. So that is our copy I copy this database name and now if you go to your project we have to set up it in our dot env file. So into the dot env you can see that is our database name that that will be as a JD stream. I simply add that our database name my by default username as a root and I don't have any password. So it depends on your XAMPP like if you go to your database area like I go to my main page and if you here if you go to that user accounts and with the user accounts you can see my username as a root host name as a local host and password right now I don't have any password. For the reasons here I name it as a root as a username and I don't have any password. So that's all you have to do. Now our configuration is successfully done. We successfully created on the database and also we configured it in our project. And after that we have to do we have to migrate it. Okay, like here I want to migrate. So when you migrate then it will be generated. That means there is some of the table. If you go to the database migration so you can see there is some of the default table. All the table now should be added in our database that I have created. If you go to the database, I have created the database name as a JDoth. Here it will be generated everything. Like I show you, if you now run at the PHP, artisan and migrate. Now if you click as the enter, now all that our database should be created successfully. You can see it's now successfully created all that our database table. Now if you go our database and refresh it, now all the table should be added. Yeah, you can see there is all the table is added. There is a user by default on the table. And now if you refresh our project, now that should be executed. Yeah, you can see it's perfect. Now there is a logging and there is a register. If you go to that logging page, now you can see that is a JD stream default logging page design. And if you go to the register, so that is all be our register page. Great. That means we successfully able to create that database. We are successfully able to migration this database table and our total JD stream is successfully installed in our into the Laravel. So here our total JD stream is successfully installed into the Laravel. So in our next video, I want to discuss about some of the default all that file structure. Okay, how that things exactly working. I want to show you everything and then step by step we'll develop one complete multi-authentication system with using that JD stream. I hope you will like it very much. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.